welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here. I was at the Dollar Tree the other day and I was getting a Father's Day card for my husband because that's the best place to get Father's Day cards and bags. They didn't have the greatest Father's Day bags, but I found some. They're like, you know, it's actually not a dollar anymore. It's a dollar 25, which is another thing like I could go on for hours about that, but let's not talk about it. Anyways, I was in the makeup section and the makeup section has gotten better. Like, okay, I fully 100% think that this video is gonna be crazy. I think that this, if you have, I mean, you, you read the titles of this video, it is going to be a full face of Dollar Tree makeup, but there was like new makeup. I, I feel like they got some new makeup from like, like trying to hit the, the younger generation and, and they have, they have more brands and I'm just like, oh, you know what? Let's see what happens. So I got 12 items of makeup for a full face of makeup here, probably about $18 here, $18 for 12 items of makeup because we talked about how it's no longer a dollar, a dollar, it's a dollar 25 with tax and stuff about $18 for a full face of makeup. Again, I don't think this is gonna look really good. <laughs> like it was hard to find like foundation that matched my my skin tone. Uh, there was like three colors. Anyways, we'll see what happens here. For $18, if I find at least one item, one out of these 12, that is, a, is like a hidden gem, then, then I think I won. Because it is like finding one item for $18 at Sephora I'm not saying there aren't things for $18, but that's kind of rare. Rare Beauty actually does have some, I think, $18 items. But so there are a few brands at Sephora that have items that are $18. Most things are over $20. So if I find one hidden gem for $1.25, that will be just the bonus of this video. Also, I think it'll just be fun, you know, right? I have a whole bag of makeup here. It's just gonna be fun. Let's try it out, right? It it washes off. The first thing is this right here. I got a primer. It is the brand Be Pure. So we have quite, I think we have like five different brands here, which I think is interesting that there's that many brands at the Dollar Tree. It is a hydrating primer serum and Personally, I have very dry skin, so a hydrating primer is actually good for me. But it's infused with rose oil, which, where does it say that? Infused with rose oil. Mm, don't really love rose scented things, but maybe it won't smell like rose. And they're trying to be, look at, look at what these like buzzwords that like, you know, Sephora does. That it says like paraben free and phthalate free. They're, I mean like, they're trying to be like, like the big brands. So they're trying here. It says, dispense two to three drops into the palm of your hand, apply with your fingers as you would a serum. One, two, three, four. Oops, well, you know what? I have really dry skin, so four is fine. Okay, good news. It doesn't smell like rose. That's really good news. And I've never used a serum as a primer. I usually use a serum before I use my moisturizer. So, interesting and I already had a moisturizer on I put on my Elemis like morning moisturizer on so that was all I had on my face this morning okay great so far I like that it's not pilling it seems okay and it didn't smell like rose let's see I have this says liquid makeup okay assuming that's a foundation liquid makeup it's from LA Colors. It is complete coverage, which is not my favorite, like full coverage foundation. It is in the shade Natural, which looking at me now, I did actually self tan last night. So it's, I bet when I bought this, it was closer to my skin tone than it is now because I, you know, did some fake tanning last night. But, um, you know, we're, we're going to make it work. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? To make it work. I have these uh, tanning drops. We're gonna mix that. I need to save this. I, I don't want this look to just be like terrible. I want it to look, I want to try to make it look good. Okay, here we go. Okay, 
There's some right there. Uh, just a pump over here. Oh, good. Oh, I, I may have gotten too much of that. It's just, it's hard to get the right amount of pump. Okay. Wow. I look fantastic. This is, this is, this is a thing that's happening right now. Okay. I still have more on my finger just in case I need it. There's like nothing. It's like water. What is happening? That's weird. So the full coverage, what was it? Liquid makeup is doing nothing. Okay. 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 I'm going to put more of it on here because it's, it's doing nothing. That's cool. This is so weird. Do you see that? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it could be reacting to the primer underneath, but I don't think so. That's so weird. Okay, well, this wasn't really even necessary because um, the foundation is so thin that it looks like nothing. It looks like nothing. Nothing is showing up. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Let's just do some more. That went astray on my beauty blender, but that's fine. Weird. This is, this is interesting. I told you this would be a funny, weird video. I just didn't know how it would be weird. That it would be the secret fading away foundation that fades to nothing. Where is it going? Where is the foundation going? In the sponge, probably. That, that's where it's going. Well, cool. I thought that it would look like a cakey mess. So I guess that, there's that. It doesn't look like a cakey mess. But now I have this on my finger and I don't know what to do with it. Leave it alone, get this off my finger. Okay, now we have a concealer. This is from the brand Be Pure Again. It is in the shade Fair, which was probably the only shade that was available. It is a hydrating serum concealer. So it seems like this Be Pure brand is very serum oriented. It is. It has hyaluronic acid in it. You know, this Be Pure brand has some, like they have some bold, bold claims. And if they're true, like this is good for, you know, dollar store, right? Or dollar 25 store. We've got the essentially ageless. Hopefully this gives me some coverage. It looks like any other concealer right now. Oh, it's really light. That's fine though. I usually go lighter with my concealer than with my foundation. And it'll blend out. To nothing. Like they didn't have any undertones. It wasn't like fair neutral. Fair cool. It was just fair. <laughs> because again, at the dollar store, they didn't have a lot of choices. It looks like it blended out to nothing. Well, you're not getting over coverage. You're not getting too much coverage with this stuff. If that is what you are scared about. It's not like, oh no, I'm going to look cakey. That will not be the case here. And I think, you know, it's saying hydrating, so that kind of makes sense. Not too much coverage. I put on an eyeshadow primer, but since it's not from the dollar store, I did it behind the scenes. I tried to let this sit for a minute, so maybe it wouldn't blend away so quickly. And now I'm doing it with a concealer brush. So again, it wouldn't blend away so quickly quickly. Do you know what I mean? I think that helped. I've only used three products, but I think the primer is okay. The other two, not so much. What do we have next? Eyeshadow, because I put on an eyeshadow primer, right? Cool. So there was a lot of eyeshadow. So I had a lot to choose from. 
for my shadows. And there were bigger palettes, there were smaller palettes, there were blues and pinks and purples and neutral browns and smoky colors. There was a lot to choose from. So I chose purple because purple is my favorite to wear on my eyes. So I was like, you know what? If I'm going to choose out of all of these, I'm going to go with purple. But there isn't a shimmery shade here. So I went with this right here. This is this new brand that I was talking about that I bought like four things from this new brand. The brand is Ioni. Oh, you, Ioni. There it is. Ioni. So it's this brand and it's really cute. I also got a eyeliner from it. So it's this brand Ioni. It was on, like on an end cap in the makeup section. It wasn't even like with all the other makeup, it was like, here, we're going to put it on an end cap. So you could, it was like highlighting how cool this new stuff was. It is a chubby stick. It is a primer, highlighter, eyeliner, eyeshadow, long lasting. So I thought I couldn't actually find a highlighter. So this can be like a highlighter for my eye liner or for my eyeshadow. And it also can be an highlighter. So we're going to use both to get a really pretty eye look hopefully. And this is from the brand LA Colors, right? So, so far we have three brands. And I said that there were five brands. There, I think, is only going to be four brands because I'm only seeing one other brand. So, four brands. But still, I think four brands from the dollar store is pretty impressive. Okay. Thoughts. Should I use, I, I'm asking you like you can answer me back right now. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, should I use the little makeup applicator? No. You know what? I want this to work. I'm going to give it the full advantage and I'm going to use one of my brushes because I want it to work. Let's just get going here. Let's get going. And I wanted it to work. So I used a, you know, uh, eyeshadow primer. So I'm using this middle shade as like a transition shade. My eyeshadow primer is from Sigma. It's just the one that is, you know, in my shop, my stash right now. It's the one I'm using. This is uh, faint, which is fine. I think that that is pretty normal. I think that like the high pigment eyeshadows are really from indie brands and this is obviously not an indie brand. Okay, cool. So now we are going to take this shade right here and put that in my outer corner. You know, it's going to work out because then we'll put this one in the middle. Well, we're going to make this work. I want to come up with a pretty look from the dollar store. I am trying, like I'm not trying to make this look silly. I'm trying to make this look pretty. Because even as like a teenager, when I like was getting my money from babysitting and from Saturday chores, I never bought Dollar Shore makeup. I bought it from Walgreens. Because honestly, the Walgreens was within walking distance of my house and the Dollar Store was not. So, and I didn't have a car. I was like 14 or 15. So I went to the Walgreens <laughs> to buy makeup. I went to where I could walk. It's showing up. It's just so light and a little bit powdery. We're going to take this Periwinkle shade, which I have to admit is what drew me to this palette. Love purple Periwinkle. Such a pretty shade. And put it in the middle there. Barely showing up though. <laughs> I can barely see it. We are going to find some gems here. I promise. I promise. I feel like this isn't bad though. This is not my type of makeup. I like makeup, uh, eyeshadow that'll hit you in the face, but I have learned that eyeshadow isn't even cool anymore. Like <laughs> eyeshadow is for, um, me. <laughs> millennials and up. This like low impact eyeshadow is actually probably more preferred. I can try and build it up, but it's not going to work out. All right, let's try this chubby stick. I have a feeling that this is going to be pretty cool. Or maybe I'm just hoping for it to be because this brand just seems cool. 
That's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Like maybe even here in my waterline. Yeah. That was not what I was intent what I was planning on doing with it. But then it said that it could be used as an eyeliner, so I chose to do that. Okay. Let's get it in this inner corner here. It's not super working for that. It worked more as an eyeliner. Well, who? Let's see if we can like get it on my finger and then get it. I can make this work and I'm going to make it work because I said so. Okay, that's better, yeah. You just have to get it on your finger and I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> Maybe, get it on your finger first and then rub it in. It's a little bit tricky, but I am bound and determined, see, to make it work. And now it's working. Let's get that eyeshadow back and put a little bit of that purple back here. Oh, no. That's just chunky now. Oh, fun. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted this to work. Now I have a chunk right here. That doesn't, I don't even know what to do because that doesn't usually happen. Uh, I could probably, I have an idea, take a spoolie. This is gonna hurt. Yep, it does hurt. <laughs> yep, that worked, but it did hurt. Ow! <laughs> Great, kind of worked. A bronzer. I'm kind of excited about this bronzer. It looks like a bronzer, you know? It's from LA Colors. It is in the shade Bronzed Beauty. It is a natural looking tan. Matte finish, instantly radiant, new and improved. I think there were several different options um, of colors, maybe, I can't remember, but this was the option that I thought would work best for me. Okay, it's very thin. That is like really nice for storage. If, if I like this, this will be fantastic for storage. Like, come on, why do, we, why do we have to make our storages so huge? Okay, it's a little bit powdery. Okay, wow, okay. Okay, I, I obviously got a lot. Okay, so that was a really like dense brush. Now I'm gonna take a, a much less dense brush and hope I can fix that. Okay, so clearly the only shade that was available for my color is very rich. <sighs> it just packed a punch, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try to make it work. I just have to kind of get it in other places to make it look not so crazy right there. Hopefully. I haven't put any more color on the brush. If you're wondering, you're like, what are you doing? <sighs> Blend! Blend! I really am trying to make this makeup look work, everyone. <laughs> that side is good. Didn't I put this blob on first? Yet yeah, this is the one that is like so difficult. Wow. I mean, it's not like it looks bad. I wouldn't say I look like terrible, but it's not my best makeup day. Let's just say that. I don't hate it. It was just, it was hard to blend. But I do, I love how thin the packaging is though. You know what I mean? That was nice. Okay, we have a blush. 
from this Ioni brand, there were actually quite a few blushes. There were blushes from the LA Looks brand. There were, you know, powder blushes. There was there were a lot of blushes. Like this is the year blush, right? And I chose to go with this Ioni brand because I it, it just looks like fun. And so this was in the shade Cinnamon Rose. Now that I think about it, is this gonna match my purple eye look? I have no idea, but here we go. We're going for it. There's always a risk with these kinds of things that it will pick up on your foundation underneath. But since I, my foundation underneath is like, <laughs> I don't even know. Like it already picked up on itself and didn't even really work. Oh, that is red. So I'm gonna go with the bottom of my beauty blender cause that's what I always do. Okay. 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 That's nice. That is a blush. I honestly tried to find shades that would match like what I was going for. I, I was sitting in that beauty aisle for a really long time and my daughter was so, like, cause I went with my daughter and she was like, mom, are we done yet? And I was like, I'm just trying to make sure that this whole look will come together. And I'm like, Bianca, why did you choose red with purple? But you know, there were people also in that aisle and my daughter was getting bored and it's life. Life is life. Okay. Wow. That actually blended out and looks really nice. If I wanted, I could build it up and make it look really red, but I feel like I got it to blend down to be just a nice like flushed cheek look. Nice. This right here, I feel like is a nice blush. This, this new Ioni brand could be a win. This like, I think in that for an eyeliner was pretty good for a highlighter. Like obviously I had some issues with it for that. Um, <laughs> I was going to use it as a highlighter here. So let's, right. Let's, let's, uh, see what happens for that because I still wanted to try to use it as a highlighter. Didn't I? So actually that is kind of nice. Just not on your eyes, like the eyelids. That, that skin is too delicate for this pencil is what my thought process is at this point in time. Whereas your cheeks aren't as delicate, it can be maneuvered. It it's like a really faint highlight, but it was the only highlight that was even available, so nice. Eyeliner, this is also from that Ioni. It's, should I do this? on camera. It's a nice felt tip. There were quite a few colors. There was purple, there was blue. Like I love a blue eyeliner and I was contemplating getting like the cobalt blue cause it's, I love a pop of color, but I was trying to get it to all f go together, especially because I chose purple mascara. And I was like, you can't do a purple eyeliner or a blue eyeliner with purple mascara. So I was trying to get it, the look to go all together. Let's see if I can make this work on the phone. This is brave of me. Eyeliner. Okay. That's all you get to see. <laughs> I feel like I need to show you to tell you because it ended up looking okay, but I need to show you that this is a really crappy eyeliner. <laughs> like it just skips. Like I'm trying to do a line and it's like skip, skip, skip. It's really hard to do a line. It doesn't want to do a line. It just skips, skip. It's, it's a really terrible <laughs> Not worth $1.25. I actually was finding that I, I kind of like this Ioni brand. And I was like, okay, anything from this Ioni brand you can probably be happy with. Not this eyeliner and I am not like an eyeliner expert. Eyeliner is something that is hard for me. Sometimes I have to wipe it all off and start over. So I need an eyeliner that is not difficult 
And this I like has been difficult. Don't waste your dollar twenty-five on this eyeliner. Oh, it's just a lost cause at this point. Okay, I gotta I gotta <gasps> They look so bad! Okay, um please forgive me for how horrible my eyeliner looks. Let's go to the eyebrows from LA Colors. Eyebrows. It is in the shade Dark Blonde, which if you look at the top of my head, it's not, it's brown. But if you look at the bottom of my hair, we have blonde. So what color should I get? Blonde, dark brown. So I just get dark brown, blonde, because I feel like it is a mixture of what my hair is. Because, you know, you guys can never see all of my hair. What's nice about it is it has a spoolie. How, how bad can an, a, an eyebrow pencil be that has a spoolie? Did I just jinx it? Possibly. <laughs> Let's do it. I have sad eyebrows as it is. Actually, look how much that matches. That matches. I have a hard time matching my eyebrows. Wow, I'm kind of impressed. If the formula is good, I might kind of love this because <laughs> it is almost a perfect match, even if the formula is bad. Like, I have a really hard time matching my eyebrow color because it always, the blondes will be too blonde. And so they'll always, always be like, we'll just get taupe. And taupe is like just like a dark gray brown. And that doesn't match either. Shocked. This is a shocked face. Do I need to go back to the Dollar Tree and buy 17 more of these? Maybe. <sighs> and it's like kind of soft. But kind of, like it's it's not too bad of a formula. Like I like it when they're a little bit soft. When they're kind of hard, I'm like, ow, ow, ow. So I like it when they're a little bit soft. Little did I know that the eyebrow pencil would be the biggest win of the day. Words are escaping me right now because I think I may have found the perfect match for my eyebrows <laughs> at the Dollar Tree. So I talked about that fourth mysterious brand. This is Le Mercerie, Mer Mercerie? Question mark? Okay, this is matte finish setting spray and I heard a girl. So, so I was kind of sharing that aisle with these two young girls. Well, I would, everyone's young to me because I'm 38. I would say they were maybe 18 and they were like, they, they were in that aisle just as long as I was in that aisle. They were really, really hunting. But I could hear them talking and they were like, this is my favorite matte setting spray. And I was like, really? This is your favorite matte setting spray? Like at the Dollar Tree or like in general? Anyways, it was also the only setting spray that I could find there. So I got it. <laughs> but I was like, interesting. This girl was saying this was her favorite setting spray. So hopefully it's good. How to use. Step one, shake the bottle. Step two is important to make sure setting spray goes on without dripping splotches. Spray in an X for, and T formation for optimal application. Hold the bottle about six to eight inches away from your face. Let dry. Okay, so I shook it. So X and then a T. That's funny because I usually just kind of go in a circle. So X, T. I dry. I actually had a really nice sprayer. It wasn't drippy. It was nice. I, and actually having it be matte is probably good because I was having some glow going on from all of the like serum, everything. <laughs> mascara. It is the Volume and Defined Mascara. This is from the Ioni brand. It is in purple, violet. I don't know, I love colorful mascaras. I'm excited. You know what? Looking here, it doesn't look that bad. Okay, my eyeliner looks bad. But other than that, it doesn't look that bad. That is so fun. Wow. Okay. I have high hopes. Should I? Okay. Possibly, I could have put on like a white primer to make this better, you know, work better. But... I feel like we need to give it, let it see what it does on its own. Like I really like the brush. There's like 
separation and I feel like it's going like this the brush is getting through my lashes really well but I just don't feel like it's getting any actual color maybe it is you can see it okay it is actually doing something huh this is probably one that just takes a couple of layers so what are you guys thinking so far about this mask or er, mascara yes but the makeup are you thinking I should make a trip to my Dollar Tree some of this makeup is intriguing or are you like wow you are a brave soul Bianca, for putting on that Dollar Tree makeup or a little bit of both because I'm thinking a little bit of both honestly this new Ioni brand was really cool I loved the colors they had like blue and purple and I feel like at the drugstore, they don't have fun colors all the time. Like when I was younger and shopping at the drugstore, I wasn't getting fun colors. That's why I first went to Sephora because then I went to Urban Decay and I was like, color! And I only shopped at Urban Decay. Whenever I went to Sephora, I went straight to Urban Decay because I was so obsessed with color. The color that Urban Decay had. It's working even without a primer. Yes, I'm having to layer it up, but that's okay. Like, I think I'm going to actually have this mascara in my rotation. Like I'm, I'm, there are some of these products that are going in the trash, <laughs> namely the eyeliner and the foundation. But there are some that I'm actually going to be putting in my rotation. Let's put on the lipstick and then we'll fix the errors because they'll probably have dried. I got a lipstick from LA Colors. There were a lot of lipstick options. Um, there were even some from that Ioni brand. I was just trying to come up, I, I was trying to go for more of a nude color because I didn't know how colorful the eyes would be. I didn't know, I knew I was going for purple and I didn't know it would be this light on the purple. So, ah. Uh, I, I was trying to go with a, you know, if I had a very dramatic eye, I wanted a more neutral lip. So I was going for more neutral of a lip. This is what I finally ended up with. So it is hydrating lipstick, creamy finish, which is actually not my favorite. I like a matte lipstick, but you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. This has vitamin E and aloe vera, and it says it's cruelty free, and it's in the shade Perfectionist. It looks like from the picture that it has some shimmer to it. So let's see what happens, everyone. Let's see what happens. It looks like my cheek ate all of the blush and bronzer. Isn't that fun? That's pretty. It has a smell to it. It kind of is vanilla. That's nice. Not as pigmented as I, I guess, was hoping it would be. There is my dollar store. Oh my gosh, how long have you been sitting inside of my bathroom or my shower? This this whole video. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I am, I'm doing okay. <laughs> Here's the look. <laughs> I think it's okay. I think it, it's, it's very subtle. Like for me, especially I go kind of more like in your face. It's makeup for beginners, which I think is good. Like you're going to wear it and you're not going to accidentally like go crazy. You're not going to put on makeup and be like, oh my gosh, what did I do? I have a full face of like crazy eighties makeup. It's going to be subtle. You ha will ha you have to build and build and build to really get that impact. And so I think it's good for beginner makeup, which I think is good because personally, when I was a teenager, I was only making money from babysitting and from Saturday morning chores. And so <laughs> that the dollar twenty five makeup is a good you know beginner makeup range of money for a teenager. So I think it's it, it balances well. And I think it's fun. Those colors, you ha having these fun colors, and I think I still was able to make a pretty makeup look. There are some things that I, you know, liked better than others, uh, like that will go straight in the trash. So the eyeliner, trash. Foundation, trash. Eh, like I don't think I'm gonna keep this. Uh, I'm not gonna put it in the trash. I will give it to someone. <laughs> like a teenager that I know. Like these are just going in the trash. <laughs> no teenager deserves to suffer with these. <laughs> okay, as for things that I actually really like and I think I'm going to keep, I think that this primer 
this primer was nice. I'm going to try it again. See if I, you know, if, if it doesn't like, I don't have an allergic reaction to it or anything. I liked it. The bronzer, why not? It, it, it was able to blend out eventually, right? Uh, let's see the blush. The blush was nice. The mascara, as long as I use a primer with it, it was really nice. And the winner of the winner of the winner of the video. What's this? <laughs> That's so silly. But this eyebrow pencil was so good because it matches my eyebrows. Okay, normally I do more for my eyebrows. I will do um, a gel beforehand to get my eyebrows to stick up. And then I do the pencil. And then I do another gel afterwards. Um, so because I have such sad little eyebrows. So you're thinking right now probably like, Bianca, your eyebrows don't look that good. That's because I usually do more. I do more for my eyebrows. Right now they, they are looking sad. But it's the color. The color matches so well. The setting spray actually was, uh, it's okay. It, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess that we found some winners here, I think. Isn't that kind of cool? These were, you know, $1.25 each. So if you want to try out the dollar store, the Dollar Tree specifically, there, there's some, some good makeup there. It's not super pigmented, but we've got it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this video? Was it fun? What's you guys' favorite dollar store makeup, if you have any? Have you tried it? All right, well, if you like this video, like this video. If you want to see more vid videos from me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified of my videos, click that bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself, because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.